Hey everybody, welcome back to my podcast talking about everything psychology. I'm your host, Lester Gonzalez, and in this podcast, you will learn more about self-improvement, personal growth, success, and how psychology plays a crucial role in our lives. Please leave a like and follow as it will help grow this podcast. And that being said, for today's topic, I want to dive deeper into the psychology of writing and understanding the mindset of writers. I absolutely love this topic because I'm a writer myself who constantly writes articles on LinkedIn, Medium, Kiora, uh, constantly loves posting social media content based on my writing. And as a psychology student, writing has always been a part of me, and I'd love to share my knowledge with all of you. So the first thing I want to talk about is questioning to ourselves, you know, why do we write and how can writing benefit our mind? The psychology of writing dives deeper in understanding the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral aspects of a writer. So in order to fully understand what our mind goes through in writing, here are some key psychological factors in the mind of a writer. The first factor I want to talk about is creativity. So writing allows us to generate ideas, express our thoughts, and feel more open within ourselves. Creativity all comes from our minds and passions so creativity is often influenced by certain factors like environment personality traits and emotions creativity is something we express in our writings and it allows us to be free right and this often helps in expanding our mind- mindsets in to new levels of imagination imagination is key when writing because it allows our mind to expand and talk about things that may come up and then we just jot them down as we write so creativity is such a great factor in terms of writing the next psychological factor i want to talk about uh, when it comes to writing is motivation and self-efficacy so having motivation and self-efficacy is crucial when it comes to writing. We must understand and question ourselves, you know, are we writing for personal expression? Uh, are we writing for achievement or are we writing to be successful, to earn money or income? But motivation will often influence our commitment and our effort and dedication when we uh put in the work for writing and this will allow us to find more passion in the process when we write and with self-efficacy it's all about being confident in the work we put in i know not everything may seem to us that our work is often perfect but we must have the belief in writing effectively and it's all about being confident in the value we bring to others as we jot down our ideas, our stories. And the more we carry motivation and self-efficacy within ourselves, the more we will grow as writers. And which brings me to my next psychological factor of emotional expression. So writing is the epitome of emotional expression. This can often be therapeutic and stress relieving. Right. As we write, it allows us to explore and process our own emotions. For those who read books, this is very relatable. You know, we love reading texts from other authors and it's very stress relieving and therapeutic when it comes to, you know, reading words and picturing ourselves in the story. Same thing goes for writing. As you write down these words, you picture yourself uh, being in that story and creating something that comes from your imagination. So writing is a way to bring our emotions and feeling uh, when it comes to putting our words in a sheet of paper while also being able to expand our thoughts. So there may be something we cannot truly express in the real world act like in the real world, but you know we have the ability to express them in writing and think of writing as an emotional escape from the real world uh, that we go through, uh, allowing our mindset to be free. And which brings me to my next point, which is identity, right? The more we see ourselves as a writer, we uh, we could have a significant impact in our own identity, our own motivation and self-esteem as we write down our stories. We know what satisfies us through the art of writing, and the more we develop positive writer's identity, the more we will enjoy it in the long run. And writing is more than just a hobby. It's basically who we are. Right. So having this type of mindset will not only help us become better writers, but understand the positive impact we bring to others. So writing is not a hobby. It's who we are. 
which I love to talk about this next factor, and it is called rhythm and flow. So there is no greater feeling than having our own state of rhythm and flow through writing. For all of you writers out there, you know that feeling of just constantly typing and putting things down that come across our mind. As we write our stories, it just constantly keeps going and going and going, gets better and better. You know, at the start, it may not feel like it, but as you continue to write, you just start thinking of it more and putting more, uh, putting more of a story, putting more of the plot and the action and the problem, you know. So as we process the words we write, the more rewarding it, uh, it is for us to write even more. And this helps us feel more productive and keeping our mindset in the zone. Isn't the sound like of the keyboard very satisfying, right? So ever, you ever had that feeling of just wanting to type more and more for your story? And uh, me, myself as a writer, that's definitely something I love when I write my articles about psychology. And that just means we are just finding a rhythm and flow while enjoying the process. Um, it's always about envisioning every word uh, as a stepping stone to greatness. You know, it may take time within the writing process or as an online writer myself, it may take time to grow, um, grow your following and uh, grow your page. But I've learned from this outstanding writer named Nicholas Cole that it's about building your library, uh, whether it be Cure, LinkedIn, Medium, you know, wherever content you have, Twitter, right? Many of us have different goals of where we want to take our writing and uh, having rhythm and flow through writing can help us navigate where we want to take our writing in the long run. Which brings me to my next point most of us writers could relate to, and that is editing and revision. So most of us writers understand what it's like to constantly, constantly revise and change our prompts. Our mindset when it comes to writing involves the willingness to critique and revise our work often, and this often helps us improve our self-evaluation when finding growth in writing. And we should never discredit our mistakes. I know some of us would read through our uh, stories and discredit ourselves because, okay, why does this, why doesn't this make sense, you know? But it's important that we revise and learn from them. And again, never discredit ourselves because you are the work of art, right? So understand that it's okay to be imperfect. And it's more important to recognize and improve over time through uh, your pieces of writing. Which brings me to audience awareness. Uh, the psychology of writing is considered the attraction and expectations from your audience. For more writers uh, who want to share their writing in public, it's all about having the ability to understand our reader's background, knowledge, and interest in order to find greater connections and followings. As a writer, we, we have to analyze what our audience loves about our writing. Uh, the more we analyze our audience, the more we will find writing improvements for ourselves and for other people. One thing that's most helpful is putting ourselves in the reader's shoes, uh, questioning to ourselves, you know, what would catch our attention the most when reading a story or what kind of topics and subtopics bring me the most value. So as we put ourselves in the follower's shoes and audience shoes, uh, we get to fully understand what we want to put in our writing that would get their attention. Uh, who knows, it could be a story that we want to write within our personal life or a story that we want to bring value to others. You know, everyone uh, has different topics they want to write about, but it is up to you whether or not you truly understand what your audience needs. And we must be continually aware of our audience. That way we can see growth um, and constant growth in our writing. Uh, the next thing and final factor I want to talk about is perfectionism. When striving for perfection, it can often be seen as, I'd say, a double-edged sword. Perfection can lead to the best quality of work possible. However, it can also lead to constant you know, self-criticism and procrastination. Um, in reality, or in my opinion, you know, nothing will always be perfect. You know, we'll always have some type of mistakes. But just put yourself out there, you know. You know, like, I guess I get it. There will be people who may call you out and things or, you know, the insecurities of posting. But if you do put it out there, you know, what's the worst that could happen? You know, the most important thing to do in being a perfectionist uh, is finding balance. You know, it's about balancing our work quality while also having these realistic expectations of what we're putting out there. 
uh, we must be real with the type of work we put in uh, when it comes to our writing. Otherwise, it won't be good quality. It's more important to understand perfectionism as a way to make our writing better for the readers. So, yeah, I mean, to sum it all up, the psychology of writing is mainly about, you know, understanding the mental and emotional influence we bring to ourselves and others. Writing brings value. Uh, it brings, again, motivation, courage, self-belief, and growth between the writer's mind and the words we write. The more we explore these psychological factors, the more we will enhance our writing skills to new levels. So that is all I have for you guys in today's episode. I thank you all so much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this podcast in terms of the psychology of writing. For more psychology content, please stay tuned on this podcast. Make sure to leave a like, follow, and or subscribe. It will really help me out as I love speaking out my knowledge, perception, and mentorship with all of you. That being said, I look forward to growing with all of you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, I wish you all a blessed day.